Hello, I'm Wendy and thanks for coming to my channel. Today I, I kind of muddled around for half the afternoon today trying to figure out whether I wanted to do uh, my video about painting or a blue book project or mixed media or something else like watercolor or even a travel journal that I haven't finished since 2019. And I decided to just kind of combine a whole bunch of things. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm working in the same sketchbook that I worked in last week's video, and you can look for it up here, up here, I think it is. And um, because I love the paper, and one of my goals is to just keep working in a, a sketchbook and try and loosen up my work and... Um, experiment with different things and get out all the, the art supplies that I've had for years and you know you put things away and you kind of forget you have them and you all that so that's what I'm working on today in this video and I think you'll find that there's lots of new ideas because uh, like I said I haven't done, I haven't done some of these things for a long time and so they're almost new again to me. So let's get started and see what happens. To begin with, I, I have this, um, I just did this on my printer, but it's, it's from what's called a master board, which is, these papers are just glued onto a piece of cardstock. So I can use it as a backing for just about anything. And one of the things I tested right away was is this does does water make this run because sometimes inkjet jet printers they actually run so it is fine but I'm going to use it as my background and this is the sketchbook that I was telling you about that um, I love so much and by the way someone asked me on my video last week where to get this and the only place I found to get this brand which is called Nota is at Indigo online and probably in their stores. I bought, I bought this one in Vancouver. I looked online to help out this other um, subscriber and they do have several but not this particular one. So have a look if, this, if it interests you. But what I want to do here is just use this to kind of be the backing on this page which in a way is a bit of a shame to cover up this paper but unless I decided to just do something different. No, I think I'm going to stick with plan A here. So what I want to do is, first of all, just tear off some of the edges. And this is going to be in kind of inside the edges. So it'll end up about there by that treble clef. And this is one of those um, decal ruler so it gives you that rough edge which I think is perfect to go with this book because it has a decal edge on it and also a measure here I guess line it up on this pink background because then it, it can do things in a straighter manner now these will go into my scraps and they can be used again for something else all right, so here's my backing paper, and you can see I left room around the edges because I really want this paper to show. It's so it's such a beautiful paper, and if you're if you're like me and you kind of, you know, are passionate about paper, um, you'll understand what I mean here. Now I just realized that my decal edge is only on these sides, so I might as well go ahead and do the other sides as well so that at least it matches. And uh, it will mean taking off a little bit more, but I'm okay with that because, like I said, I want the paper in the background to show anyway. And this is frequently happens with this. I don't know if I don't hold on tightly enough or what. It must be it. Because you really have to press hard to keep it from slipping out from underneath. This This will get rid of this white line here that the printer left as well. I 
you almost have to press exactly where the tear is going to take place, like that. Okay. All right, that's good enough. I have so much going on and so little space, which I think I like it this way better. And what kind of glue do I want? I think I'll just use this. Um, I don't care if the edges don't stick down. And this little nozzle always plugs up. So we'll deal with that right away. I'm putting it sort of in the, in the center here. Now my first um, kind of step after this is to is to add some ephemera to it, which will give it the color. So I'm going to dig into this and see if something pops out like that. Even like this one too. And um, I've been waiting for a place to use that butterfly. And just so you know, this is totally un unplanned, unpre-planned. I'm just gonna like figure it out. Which is um, what I'm trying to do with my my art and my yeah my art and everything is to. I'm just gonna get this whole wad of things out of here. Is to loosen up with everything and just play with it because for so long I've had my my goal has always been what sells what can I what can I do that people want you know I, I've had I've been in business for years so of course a business that doesn't make money is um, is not a very good idea so of course you know I make choices based on what people want and, and I mean that's a good thing because how else are you going to do it. Now, I don't know what bird that is. It looks a little bit like a killdeer, like a plover family. Anyhow, um, let's see what else we got here. I love these big flowers. This one is really huge, but the color is so vibrant. These daffodils would take up the whole page. Okay, that's a good start. So let's put those down. I also have other stickers and things that I'm going to look into. That's a good place to start. This is a big bird. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So this is um, glue book, sketchbook, you name it book. Kind of want different edges here. So I'm going to use some of these little scissors, which is this one's called Deckle. I'm kind of into Deckle today, you can tell. Our weather finally, finally warmed up. And now it's um, like 30 degrees Celsius. It's like full on summer, finally. And so if there's a roar in the background of this, I, um, I apologize, but it's the air conditioner keeping the house cool. Otherwise I'd be in a puddle of my own sweat, which is not a comfortable feeling as I'm sure you're aware. I think this just gives it a little bit of more more character and I like character I even like character in people I like the unusual people okay let's get that out of there and get that off there oh I almost like that sitting over there hmm oh, now I am perplexed well, they all look nice, so everything you do looks nice. That's the joy of making art. Even if it's not supposed to be beautiful, 
there's some value anyway. And I'm not really a big fan of, you know, let's put that at an angle. I'm not a big fan of the darker kind of topics and subjects, but you know what? To each their own. To each his or her own, I should say. I like that there as well. So let's go ahead and do that. I might end up doing this page too, I don't know. I actually want to do more painting in this book. And um, to that end, I'm, I'm so frustrated by lack of space. If I could just have a big table out, like this table here is great. And I might have to just reconfigure everything. But I have so little storage space that it's frustrating. Because I'm painting big canvases now and they're in my living room. So that means all my paints and everything are is over there and you know anyway. It's one of those things that I'll figure out. Here's my parchment paper. Uh, let's see. I think I'll use this big glue stick. Now these kind of things are kind of tricky because they have so many little points and everything. If you put them put like wet glue on, then um, you miss too much. Like and it just kind of squirts out all over, which is messy and sticky and, you know. All right, let's see if this works. I'm going to just leave it right where it fell so that there's a space in here to do something with. Let's put that back in there. And let's see, let's get these things out. Now, some of these are, that one's empty. Uh, they're like guest checks and stuff like that. They're, they're kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure I'll use that because they're, they're so busy against the busy background. However, these are are washy and they're kind of see-through. That one's nice. I'm not even really sure what I'm looking for here. I like that. Oh, hold on. No, wrong color. That one. I like that one. One thing I try to do is make decisions quickly. So if I see something I like, it's like, I'm not going to look forever. I'm just going to go with the first one that says, you know, let's do this. Okay, so I've got this one. I've got this bird. I kind of wish he faced it that, faced that way, but it, it, he doesn't or she doesn't. So let's put that one down. Also with the glue stick because of all the little, little pointy bits the beak and the little tiny feet. I, by the way, I cut these all out by hand. Like these, these flowers. I just, I went to the used bookstores and found books that had lots of images. So bird books and flower books and garden books and that sort of thing. And then I just took the pages out and started cutting. better keep that nearby. If my fingers get all gluey, that just sort of gets in the way. Okay, so I would sit in the evening and, and watch TV and just cut, uh, like I spent a whole winter doing that. I actually like that right there. Now, a trick with these, they're super slippery on the back, that's the backing, and they're really thin on the front. So the best way to get them off if you try and put your thumbnail in there, you'll drive yourself nuts. Is But if you go to the, a corner and just rub your thumb over it, or a side, now watch, it's going to be difficult. There we go. See? 
Your skin will just catch that edge. And then it's easy. And I don't know about you, but I like things to be easy. This one is going to go right here. And I'm going to throw this away because when they hang around, they're so slippery. And you can't see them. I'm just going to make sure this flower is stuck down. It's wanting to kind of pop up there. That should do the trick. Now then, this is, I think, you know, it's so pretty, you could almost leave it. But I'm not going to. Um... I'm going to get my little ones, things like this, and this tray. And fill in some of these little things here with some character, like that. Notice the col how the colors go together. See that? They're all kind of warm. Here's a little one. That would work right there. It's a bit blurry, but you know. I don't think that matters. Well, that's the same. I got this on the camera here. Here's a yellow hat and a yellow apple. All right, I think that's probably enough. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go with this. And you know, um, I, if you've followed me for a little while, you've heard me talk about this glue stick called Glue, G-L-O-O. I made the mistake of leaving the thing off, the lid off once, and it kind of got stiff on me. So I'm going to see if it's juiced up again. Oh, it's good. It's back. It's it's really sticky, and it um, goes on a, a little bit stringy, as you can probably see. And, but you've got to put it right back in the lid, like that. Otherwise, it gets kind of a tough skin on it. Just get my fingers unglued there. Now, I th that hat. I could put the hat on the bird, but I'm okay with silly. But I don't want it there. So I don't have to put it there. I can just do whatever I want. And that's what the joy of having a sketchbook is. You do whatever you want. No one ever has to see it. You can do the same thing on every, every single page if you want. Or you can, you can try something new on every single page. It doesn't matter. It's up to you, which is wonderful. Now this is one of my new stamps that I got from Craspire and they actually graciously sent me some um, these some of these things oh concentrate here they sent me some hold on I'll show you they sent me these colors in the wax little blobs and I got four new stamps so there's that one oh not that one that one I had this olive branch this pattern and this one what says handmade the others I got from my daughter for my birthday a year or two ago. So there's a link below that you can use to access those and I think you'll love them. If you like doing these kind of things um, you're gonna love it. This one as it turns out is one of my old ones but I just thought I'd share that with you because they're so yummy. Okay see how quick this came together? This is like you know 15 minutes. Now um, I think that's all I'm gonna glue on here. So instead I'm going to do something different and it requires water. Now there's a story behind this. This box is full of paints called chromas 
they have really intense colors. And I got them as samples a long time ago because I, I had designed some paintables, I called them. See, paintables? And I went to uh, the craft show, the wholesale craft show. Anyway, these are the these are the um, the paints that I decided to sell with my paintables, which were kind of like um, kind of like a coloring book. Only you could paint with them. So what I'm going to do right now is because I've been kind of longing to do something with these paints, I'm going to just make some little outlines with this tiny brush. I have a little bit of water over there just to get it wet. And I want to just make some marks. So mark making is, is kind of a cool thing. All you do is, you know, add, just do whatever you want. But I thought I would use this bright yellow because it kind of goes with all this other stuff going on here. And why not? Now these paints have lots and lots of pigment in them. Look how much difference that makes. It's amazing, isn't it? Now you could use something like this. You could use acrylic paint, like the craft paints work, will work just as well um, if you want to use watercolors or something like brush markers could do that too. Let me see what this one looks like. Yeah, why not? Just to, just to color it up. I'm not even doing things in the same direction here, but it doesn't matter. And why doesn't it matter? Because I get to make the rules and it's the same with you. You just get to make your own rules. Now, I've only just put this on white. Where else should I put it? What else should I do with it? If I feel like it's all over there, so it needs to move into here. So I know I'm going to paint these flowers. Because they're a little washed out. Wouldn't you agree? So this is one of the fun things about not tying yourself to one particular medium. Because you can do whatever you want. Uh, where else should I put this yellow? About around here. Just to pop it up a little bit. It's a bit a bit dull. I'm not into dull. I, I prefer bright colors. Well, I like pastel colors. I just don't like dull colors. There. I think that works. And they rinse out with water. So water soluble. Now I've got all that there. Um, let me just see what we're going to get out of this because I'd like to paint some of this green to pop that up. I think I'll just, instead of pouring it out and wasting it, I'm just going to use it out of the lid for the moment. Oh, there's enough there. So this is just a, just a little enhancement to brighten up the colors. and. Quite frankly, you can keep going and you could paint everything on the page if you want. I don't think I'm going to do that, but you certainly could. See, I really didn't need very much of that at all. But I do kind of want to have a little bit over here for some reason. So that it's not all one-sided. Yeah, actually maybe a little bit more. So those are just little marks that anybody can make and make some more of them because they're so much fun. All right, I think that'll do. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and, and picked up a couple of tips or ideas that you can use in your own projects. This is a very mixed media. and. Um, 
please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you can get the notifications when I have a new video. And click the like button because that has something to do with the algorithm and, you know, we, we want that to work for me. And also, I'd love it if you'd leave a comment. Tell me what you think and, you know, if you like these ideas or have some of your own you want to share. And I'll see you next time.